selling your home, avoid these five mistakes. The last one is most important, so stay tuned. Number one, emotional attachment. First things first, don't get emotionally attached to your home. Focus on your next adventure. It'll help with the transition. Remember, there's a reason you're selling and embracing the change is key. Number two, pricing strategy. Price it right from the start. Be realistic, not aspirational to avoid lowering the price later. A prolonged listing can raise doubts among buyers, impacting your final sales price. Remember that there's a direct correlation between days on market and ultimate sales price. The longer it sits, the lower it will sell for. Buyers will think to themselves, what's wrong with this house? Instead, price it at market or just a hair below to spark a bidding war. Number three, disclosure. You must disclose any known issues upfront, even if you can't afford to fix them immediately. There are some contractors I work with that may agree to get paid at closing from your seller net proceeds. Therefore, no money out of your pocket. Ask me how. Number four, fix those minor issues. Small changes make a big impact. Addressing minor repairs show that you've maintained the property well. It also prevents potential buyers from being deterred by easily fixable flaws, maximizing a chance of a successful sale. Number five, show it off. Presentation is key. Stage your home to showcase it to its full potential. Clean, declutter, and highlight its best features to create a lasting impression on potential buyers. Professional photos and videos are an absolute must. A well-presented home not only attracts more offers, but also commands a higher price, putting more cash in your pocket. Even if your home has a 1970s vintage vibe, cleanliness and maintenance are crucial for attracting buyers. If you are thinking about selling, even in the next 12 months, let's chat. The sooner you start prepping, the more successful you can be. Contact me today, Donna Chong with the Fox Home Team.